today, on the 24th of February 2024, we are at the precipice of innovation. Whether our advancements lead to the creation of nuclear weapons that would trigger a second world war, or to a renaissance akin to a thriving international trade on the Asian Silk Road lies in our hands. So the question is, how can we innovate for a better world? My dance today is an ode to the Asian Silk Road, symbolizing the unity it reflects. This Euro-Asia trade network, dating back to century BCE, connected distant lands, intertwining strides of economic, political, cultural, and spiritual life across continents, drawing from the sages' wisdoms of Confucius, the master said, Virtue is not left to be alone, for it attracts labors. I found this enduring principle in a mirror within the walls of Duke Quinshan University, or DKU. This Sino Foreign Institute stand that the vibrant crossroad of Eastern and Western culture. Here, we are kindled by the same spirit that once breathed life into the ancient Silk Road, unifying scholars in a common pursuit of enlightenment. At this beacon of innovation, we must remember from Shakespeare, heavy, is a head that wears a crown. So how can we take the challenge? How can we steer our creative endeavor towards good? How can we connect rather than divide? My quest has taken me through the wisdom of Laozi and Socrates across the vast landscapes of economics and computational science, interweaving humanity with the fabrics of technology. It is along this rich journey I find an answer within the pioneering spirits of Duke Kunshan University. So you might wonder, what is the sacred ingredient that steers our innovation towards good. Let us embark on a journey for our histories of the inclusive, for our current of a collaborative, and our future of the united, all through the lens of the innovation at DKU, the very ground upon which we gather today. The history I behold at DKU is inclusive, a testament to innovation's boundless embrace. Like the iconic statue standing on our campus, DKU is at meeting point of Eastern and Western thoughts echoing a profound Chinese wisdom, we are reminded, In English, it means, do not find nails for the hammers you have in hand. Rather, find hammers for the nails you need. Unlike other traditional universities, DKU uniquely lack departments, fostering cross-discipline dialogue for an organic growth. This approach perfectly echoes the means for ends principle. 
fueled by the versionaries who laid DKU's foundation, I was able to foster research-driven courses, cultivate pioneers among students, translating disciplines to tackle societal and economic issues. For instance, in my course on machine learning for social science, where we explore a wide array of issues, matching the machine learning tools to tackle matters from global health to computational science, from sustainability to finance, generative AI, and beyond. On the screen, you see the poster uh, from our capstone symposium. Uh, very funny, uh, we replaced the headshots with AI-generated images to protect the students' privacy. Uh, you might wonder why I'm called Sunshine. Uh, the joke is my students call me that because they all want to be rising stars. In this fusion of innovation, inclusivity choreographs the first move, leading us towards a unified dance towards a common good. Our inclusive past paves the way for the collaborative current. We are cutting edge research is not just a work, but joy. Take Ray, the nickname of my first undergraduate advisee, who went from DKU to Yale University School of Management. We unexpectedly published a paper together. I say unexpectedly because we usually only expect to publish the paper with PhD students, not undergraduate. With Ray, what started as a cl casual classroom discussion unfolded into a novel venture at the confluence of macroeconomics, behavioral studies, and blockchain. Our collaborative endeavor was driven by the unyielding pursuit of intellectual and the steady, fast perseverance. This odyssey invokes the sage advice from Francis Bacon. Seek here first the good things of the mind. The rest will either be supplied or not filled. So, what makes this collaborative symphony so magic? Unlike other research universities at DKU, we have numerous initiatives to engage actively not only graduate students, but undergraduate students into groundbreaking research alongside faculty members. Ray's story is merely the opening arc of this collaborative symphony. Later, this inclusiveness in DKU's endeavors to include undergraduate students into pioneering research enables me to engage with students across fields, from political economics to data science, from applied math to media and art, from global health to computer science, in pursuit of wisdom. Our collaborative symphony at DKU echoes the bright June days of life. As inspired by Plato, we are indulged in the dear delight of philosophical inquiry. Looking into the future, we are at the edge of a tech revolution. Digital economy has reshaped how we behave, interact, and connect. However, this technology can be used for good or ill. Take NFT as an example. 
our research at the interplay of social media and blockchain, supported by many DKU initiatives, identify ethical issues among this emerging NFT market, like increasing race and gender biases. But NFT could also be digital certificates to incentivize university attendance and motivating creativity activities. Like in the Metaversity project, empowered by our industry partner, Yuku Metaverse. So, how can we take the lead in this tech revolution for good, not ill? At DKU, we provide students opportunities to nurse through real-world experiences in partner with local institutes. For instance, last semester, students in my interdisciplinary courses had the opportunity to visit Microsoft Research and Development Group in Shuzhou, also the Kunshan Metaverse Application Center. There, students had a chance to indulge in frontier technologies such as generative AI, blockchain, digital twins, guided by industrial experts. Appointed by Kunshan as an ambassador of science for all, I serve to improve the digital skills of the locals. In the project, supported jointly by DKU and Duke University departments, I was enabled to lead Industry 4.0 Open Educational Resources Publication Initiatives, share digital knowledge and wisdom we had learned at DKU worldwide. These acts contributed to bring cutting-edge technology to everyone, forging a more interconnected world. Looking into the future, in the joint endeavors of university, business, and government, I see a future world of limitless potentials where, in a metaverse, everything is connected. Today, together, as Im we imagine a future metaverse of innovation for a better world, let us remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Thank you.